Hi, g'day and uh, welcome. Thanks for joining me for this short set of videos. Uh, this is the nesting series, so I'm going to do three short ones about how to set up the BSE B nest application to do nesting. We're going to look at, in this first one, how to uh, set up materials, how to set up sheets of material, and how to create articles from existing programs that you've written and tested. And I'll look at then how to import a single file to create an article and then to nest that onto a sheet. Uh, and you can do that in a couple of different ways to see how many you want, or you can also do it to just fill the sheet. So we'll look at both of those. And in 4.3, we'll look at how to import a CSV file um, of data from uh, any other application that you might use to create that. So you might have another software application that enables you to design kitchens and cabinets and create a CSV, or you might be using uh, a spreadsheet that's been developed for you by someone else to create that CSV data. So we'll be looking at those in these series of three videos. So let's kick off with the setup. This is the hoodie program that I've created using the CAD import that I showed you in another video. Uh, I've got it all set up, all the machining's done. I'm pretty happy with the outcome. I'm ready to nest those onto a sheet. Uh, we'll make these out of plywood, 17 millimeter CD pine plywood. So let's start off by creating an article. So an article is a program that uh, is in the database of articles that can be added to the nest. So you click on this icon up here on the um, right-hand side of the top there, give the article a name, and you can choose the material type at this point. So I'll just choose plywood and confirm that. So it tells me the article's been created. So I know that that means now when I go to the nesting environment, so you click on this one here that I like to call the purple puzzle. We go to the purple puzzle and straight away, uh, there is our hoodie article. So that's just created an article of the program. All right, so we're just going to look at setting this up in this little video. So first off, uh, normally when we're working in BSE, we go top to bottom and left to right as we work through the different things. So if we're boring, top to bottom, left to right, um, and then over here again, top to bottom over here. In this case, we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. Okay, so if we start at the bottom with the setup, uh, we'll come back to the CSV import setups. The thing I want to look at just here is this one here, the maintenance icon. That'll enable us to just clean up all the junk that we've got sitting uh, in the... Um, in the database. So we'll just do a clean up on all projects, delete the parts, delete the folders. Uh, I'll keep the sheets, the rest and the materials. Um, and then when you're ready, just hit run. And that'll just get rid of all the old uh, nesting projects and uh, articles and bits and pieces that might get in your way. So run that one and that'll clear that up. Okay, so uh, the other things in here we'll look at later on. So let's look uh, the next one up, wood types. So this is where you create your type of material. So in this, we're not creating a sheet, just the material. So it's got no thickness, no dimensions. Uh, pretty much it's just got a picture. Um, so you can see here, I've got the uh, plywood one. So I've given it a name, chosen a picture. So you can click on this one, choose a picture from the ones that are there, and you can add your own to that um, own material pictures to that area using an image file. Set up whether or not it's grain. So in this case, I want it to have a grain because it's plywood and you can give it a description there. Once all that's done, you can save that one. All right, so now we've got a material that we can work with. We're going to create a sheet of that material. So I've got one here that I could use, but uh, we might just delete that one. I'll show you how to set it up. Get rid of that one. So you click on new and in here, you give it a name. I like to put my size in. 2400 by 1200 by 17 mil, and it's CD. Uh, that's the surface finish grading. And call it plywood. Now we set the real length, so 2400, uh, tab down one, two, uh, tab down to 17 millimeters thick. Trim cut, uh, that'll just clean up the edges before you start machining, and select the material from our existing material database. So there we go, plywood, confirm that. You can see I've got the run grain direction. If I want, I can run the grain across the sheet and it changes the image there as well. Um, but in this case, I'll be running along the sheet, so that's all good. If you want, you can put some more information in here. Okay, so we're getting there. We're nearly set up, ready to go. I've got my uh, material. I've now got a sheet of that material ready to machine. I've got my article in place there. Uh, then I can come up here to the nesting projects. 
and I can start a new project and put it, start putting all of those little bits and pieces in there. Uh, so I'll be back in another video in a minute and we'll look at how to import the article and set up some of these parameters in here so that you get the nesting outcome that you want. Okay, so just a quick recap. Um, to start off with, we're going to create the article from a program that already exists. Then we're going to set up the material. Material has no thickness or anything else. It's just a material. We set up the sheet, and that's when we define the size of the sheet, the thickness of the material, and the grain direction. Uh, and then we'll, in the next little video, we'll set up our nesting options and uh, import that there. So talk to you again in a minute.